Ivan John Uy's second stint to officially head the Department of Information and Technology is just a step away from fruition as he cleared today's committee hearing on his ad interim appointment. Today's deliberations by the Committee on Information and Communications Tech offered little resistance or pushback on his nomination as we hear more from our Daniel Manalasas. During the commission and appointments panel deliberation on the DICT Secretary Ivan John Uy's ad interim appointment, CA members raised question on the government's digitalization plan. I believe that if there is less human intervention, there will be less corruption. If most government transactions are done through online or e-governance, even payment of taxes, mas lalo po mapapabilis ang ating development. We can synergize our efforts, eh, um, especially with respect to um, expenses. For instance, there are many LGUs, especially the rich cities, that actually have budgets for connectivity, that have budgets for uh, Wi-Fi, and uh, we can uh, put up, let's say, a uh, matching fund Meanwhile, we confirmed that an official in the DICT has resigned. Some members of the CA panel have serious allegations on this official. I heard that uh, you were the one who recommended Jose Salazar to be appointed as undersecretary. He was involved in uh, several anomalous, uh, questionable transactions when he was the ERC chairman. Actually, um, he already tendered his resignation for he's no longer connected with the DICT. Meanwhile, the deliberation on ad interim appointment of DTI Secretary Alfredo Pascual has been suspended due to the lack of time. Pascual was questioned by some CA members after they received complaints from PESA employees. Ngayon, hindi pa nakontento itong si Panga, humihiganti siya ngayon sa mga empleyado. Identified with the former Director General. He has terminated all the contractors. He has uh, placed some of the permanent employees on floating status. And more than that, Mr. Chair, he has demoted some of the long-time employees of PESA. First of all, I'd like to clarify that I did not designate uh, former or as OIC Deputy DG Panga. He assumed the position by operation of the Memorandum Circular issued by the President. Memorandum Circular 1 and Memorandum Circular 2. Now, this matter of uh, employees having complaints is coming to my attention only now. Uh, I have not had any report from the employees directly when uh, these things were happening. So now that I'm aware of this, we will investigate. Daniel Manalastas for The Nation.